Hello and welcome to Nibbisato Tag Wars PJ 2005, the real-time calendar for the 11th of November, it's Veterans Day. And for this one, we have to hold the lead against a veteran of the PGA Tour. Doesn't tell us who it is yet, but we have the lead. So hopefully, this should be pretty straightforward. We'll soon see. Alright, Colonial CC last six holes as always. It's basically a birthday event, but we have a lead. Depends on the wind, though. I'm going to play a 5 iron high because that wind's going to stop it short. So this should get pretty close. Yeah, that'll do. Bit more power, that could have got in. That was dead in line with the hole. With the spin. Ah, oh, it's Sing, my teammate from the second video I did of this game. From the Blast from the Pass series. I should do more Blast from the Pass. He'll be very pleased with this. Five feet, I'm closer by a foot, but there should be a tie here. My only one up, but we'll keep the lead. Par threes tend to be ties. The AI usually don't mess up. How it tends to work is you get that maybe one hole or two holes they'll mess up on. And this is for a full match, not like six holes, but for the full 18. So you have to take advantage of those holes plus the par fives because you tend to have more power than the AI. Hole fourteen is a slight dog. But we're on the uh, on the blue tee, so that might not matter as much. Might have the power to get there in two anyway on par fives. We'll just blast it. It's downhill. Little carry. Hopefully, we're in range of a pitch shot there, so we can try and pitch it in from here. But we might be a little far flat. Might be a high lumbered shot, but play it a little short. Looks to be safely in the fairway here. He'll get close from the seventy-four yards. He's played it short to to make it an an easier second shot. He, he he's showcasing some course management here. I'm just blasting it. I'm hoping for the best. Yeah, he gets that close. Very close. Two feet. Okay, we can pitch that. We've got a chance. This might overhit though. Ah, uh, I missed it that little bit there, so it went to the left, so I couldn't really get that in anywhere. We get within two feet. So we'll tie the hole and keep our one up lead. This will have the hole. Go and just tap it in, mate. There we go. Nicely played birdie there. Just got to keep our calm here. We've got a one-up lead. Just play it smart. And just wait for that par five where, where we might get the advantage. The 15th hole is a par four with a slight... Uh, par four again. The landing. But I think we can, land, we can hit it over the trees. Here we can. It's over the trees and maybe get a pitch shot again. Oh, that's a tremendous swing. Okay, yeah, we're definitely in range of a pitch shot or a flop shot here. Pretty short par four, so we can we can get we can get it close at the very least here. I try and get it in, but David, this shot is going well to the left. It's obviously hard to do. <laughs> but I think we're close enough that even if we miss, we're going to be short anyway, especially if it's like a, a long wedge. Pitch, it won't roll very far. He's got that very close again. He's brought his A game today. He's got a VJ sync. We're playing a sandwich pitch right the hole. Playing aggressive. This one is Go on. For the hey, there it is. We pitch it in. The wind took it a little bit to the left, I think. Got some right spin and just got enough on it. To get it in right at the end there, right at the end of its roll. Pitch it in, we get two up. There we go. Finally. I thought I'd play that too short again, but we just get enough spin on that. And we could end it with a hole in one. All over that one, it's going to be hard. Got him over here. Here comes a six iron. That's close, bit too, bit too far to the right though. 
Ah, uh, shit. Had a bit of backspin on that. That's right, spin a bit more backspin. That had, a, that had an okay shot, but... We're still pretty close. So... Should get that in. Make it a dormy two situation. Ah, oh, he gets so much backspin, he stops it dead. That's a good shot. But we've got a pretty easy put here. Right edge, a little short. Levington knows that's probably the victory. Don't me to a situation, I'm playing very well right now. Bravo. That's a well played birdie. Sing praises the Lord that he actually gets that in and keeps the match alive, but with two, with two remaining, and he needs to. He needs a good shot here. So far, the different, difference is literally a pitching, so. Can't run him on at Sing here. He's been dealt a tough hand by uh, is a par four being put in the uh, losing position. Right. We did play a good shot for the Chipping Eagle. Aha! It's downhill. We can get there. He blasted it. There we go. Off the fairway. Great in one. And that should settle things here today. So we can effectively two put. I played it safe with a spin, just keep it on the green. I didn't go for the hole. Middle of the fairway here. We'll get this close to put the pressure on for the eagle. Well, to make sure we at least get it close for the birdie. But can chip it in. You can get very close, but you can't quite get there. It's not in the hole. This and this is for the match. Not the easiest of putts, but once again, we only have to get this close. A birdie will uh, tie the hole and win the match. Congrats but get the eagle anyway. He played a very good game there. <laughs> I'll give myself another pat on the back for that one. It's it's one of the easier ones, mainly because you get the uh, you get the lead to start with. Otherwise, it's basically a tough birth birthday event. You do get something for this, but I don't know if I've unlocked it already. So I'm pretty sure I've seen that those irons unlocked before. Unless it's just multiple of the same now. But we have got something here. It said iron, so I believe it's going to be in here. You get the golden green irons. RTE irons, there you go. Hey, I think there's a bunch of RTE irons in different colours. I'll just check that. Dream 18, okay. I'm, 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 I'm going to be doing the Dream 18 challenges after the Ultimate Calendar. How it's going to work is, at the minute, it's real time calendar and season mode. Real time calendar should end at the end of this year. It's showing like I get cal uh, calendar day done. And there's no other like, super hard ones. Uh, and then after the other, after I, do, I finish real time calendar, I will then do the legend uh, challenges. And then I'll just say season mode and then I don't have a tag over at that point. I've been trying to get this one working, but I've been having problems with that one. So I think having two Tiger Woods series, you know, at once is, is fine. Rotate between the two to keep it a bit more fresh. Works more when I've got two different uh, Tiger Woods games going rather than, you know, 05 with two different versions of it. Where are they anyway? Have I gone over them? I've just completely gone over them as I've, as I've been talking. My attention span's terrible. I like how it's diamond green for the 200% club. Why green? Well, not like blue or like, you know, red. The better colours, in my opinion. I oh, know they're here. I was basically looking for ones that are locked. I could have just felt for that. Just felt for that. The only thing I've got to unlock is the uh, Dream 89s, which, which I can get now in theory. I've just got to play it. What about wedges? Oh, there you go. Yeah, there is there is RTE ones, but for different uh, different uh, set set of clubs. When the All Course Challenge Tournament is that in season? Mode? Is that what? Does this turn into like a half pro shop showcase here? I'm assuming that's a season mode because that would be at the uh, St Andrews. 
Maybe let's look at, uh, I don't know what results going on. Tomorrow will be uh, season mode. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I didn't, I didn't think got uh, equipment for winning certain tournaments. But the more you know. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. So let's play Tag Speed Tail 2005. We will tank calendar.